Good day everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. Now solve for the value of x that satisfies this condition. We have f of x equals x squared minus 6x plus 12 and f of f of x equals 259. Now if you want to try this problem, just pause this video. We have 20 seconds and timer starts now. Time's up. Now let's answer this question together. Now our goal is to solve for the possible values for x. So given these two conditions. So first thing to do is to get this function f of x equals x squared minus 6x plus 12. Now we have f of f of x. This is also called composition of function. Now one way to solve this is to replace all x with f of x. What I mean is Whenever we see x, we need to replace it by f of x. For example, this x becomes f of x, this x squared becomes f of x, and this x in 6x becomes f of x. So we have f of f of x equals f of x quantity squared minus 6 times f of x plus 12. Now we know the value of f of f of x. This is equivalent to 259. So we can substitute 259 to f of f of x, like this. Now, let's subtract 259 on both sides. So we have 0 equals f of x quantity squared minus 6 times f of x minus 247. Now, this 247 is very familiar to us because it is equivalent to 19 times 13. And 19 minus 13 will give us 6. Therefore, we can factor this expression on the right-hand side as follows. We have f of x minus 19 multiplied by f of x plus 13. If we multiply this factor, we will go back to our previous expression f of x quantity squared minus 6 times f of x minus 247. Now, since it is equal to 0, it follows that at least one of them must be equal to 0. So we can say that f of x minus 19 equal to 0 or f of x plus 13 equals 0. Now we know also the value of f of x. This is equivalent to x squared minus 6x plus 12. Therefore, this f of x can be replaced with x squared minus 6x plus 12. Also, this f of x can be replaced with the same thing x squared minus 6x plus 12. Now let's simplify the first equation. 12 minus 19 will give us negative 7. And on the second equation, 12 plus 13 will give us 25. Now let's separate these two equations. Now let's solve for the value of x. x squared minus 6x minus 7 is factorable. This can be factored as x minus 7 multiplied by x plus 1. Now again, since it is equal to 0, at least one of them must be equal to 0. Thus, we can say that x minus 7 equals to 0 or x plus 1 equals 0. Solving the first equation, add 7 on both sides, we get that x equals 7. And on the second equation, minus 1 on both sides, we get that the value of x equals negative 1. Therefore, we have now two possible values for x. We have 7 and negative 1. And the question is, is that the only solution for this question? And the answer is no, because we have one more equation left. So we have x squared minus 6x plus 25 equals 0. Now this equation is not factorable. Therefore, we will use the quadratic formula. We have negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, on our equation, on our quadratic equation, a is 1, therefore we can replace all A with 1. And then the B is negative 6, so we can replace all B with negative 6. And C is 25, so we can replace this C with 25. Now let's simplify. Negative of negative 6 will give us positive 6. 
negative 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 25 will give us negative 64 and 2 times 1 will give us 2. Now, square root of negative 64 is just a i, wherein i is an imaginary number or equivalent to square root of negative 1. Now, 6 plus or minus 8 i divided by 2 will give us 3 plus or minus 4 i. Therefore, we also have two possible imaginary solutions to this equation. We have x equals 3 plus 4i and 3 minus 4i. Therefore, the value of x for which this equation satisfies is x equals to 7, x equals negative 1, x equals 3 plus 4i, and x equals 3 minus 4i. And as always, we are done.